everybody's Biggie. Welcome to Biggie's Auto. So today we're working on a 2007 Ford Edge. Um, we have a code P2135 that came up, uh, which would suggest your throttle body um, communication between the throttle body and your there's a sensor and accelerator pedal so it's drive by wire machines there's no cable that controls your throttle it's all done electronically so when the reading on this sensor your throttle position sensor and the throttle pedal sensor I'm gonna call it just because that's a myism when that when that signal varies it's gonna trip that code and you have it's one of those it's kind of really funky to diagnose because you have wires and sensors yada 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 so um the we went i went under here i'm gonna see if i can show you guys up in here that's the sensor that's on on your pedal first thing you want to do is make sure those wires are not cut torn loose anything like that <clears throat> And then what you're going to do is you're going to come out here. You're going to do the same thing right here. Now, I did put some electrical tape on here because there's a wire that did look suspect. I also have already tried cleaning the throttle body. So I cleared the code out. I drove the car. I had a code P2135 came up again. But then also had a, P, a P0122 code, which suggests the uh, position sensor that's right here. So what I did was we're going to replace this sensor, okay? And it's from I'm hoping it's pretty straightforward. Um, I think all we're going to have to do is remove this air box here and the four bolts that are on the throttle position sensor itself where it bolts to the engine so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the air box off because i can't hold the phone and do the work at the same time so i'm going to take the air box off and we're going to dive into this but basically the air box you're going to remove this your pcv valve tube or breather tube there's a tube back here and then there's a hose clamp back in there you could use a straight screwdriver or a 516 socket on a quarter inch ratchet but let me dive into this and let's see hopefully we can get this repl and replace it and clear the code and hopefully it never comes back so i'll be back in a bit all right so that's what it's going to look like when you take your throttle body off there's this plastic piece here and then you're gonna have this o-ring it's like a silicone o-ring and then here is what it looks like when you pull it off so that's what we got so we're gonna go ahead and we have the new one i'm gonna go and unbox it and then we're gonna put it on and you know obviously this is your throttle for a throttle position connector um, and all this other stuff we're gonna put that all together uh, and uh, oh, I forgot to tell you, you're going to need an eight millimeter. So I use an eight millimeter socket here uh, to to get those off. Uh, they're not a ten millimeter; they're an eight. So, just to note this self, uh, if you're doing this to yourself, a little help, bit of a help. They are eight millimeter. So I get back. Hopefully, I have this back together. All right, so. We have it together, but the most important thing you can do, and I'm finding it out with some jobs that I haven't put on the channel, is go back and check your work. Make sure everything, that tube's on, that connector's plugged in. This tube here is in, that connector's on, and, and make sure that the red tab is pushed down. And just make sure everything's as tight, blah, blah, blah. So check your work you're not going to believe it it sounds stupid but check your work because you might find something you overlooked as much as you try and stay focused so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead clear the code out we're going to try starting the car all right guys so here we're inside i have my obd hooked up to the obd connector how my scanner i'm going to try and hold the camera and do this at the same time so what we want to do is press the keys 
So we get to OBD. We're going to press OK. We're waiting for it to load up. Codes found too. So we're at number one, read codes. Okay, we're going to press OK. And it's coming up as a P0122 throttle pedal position. Now let's go down here. We're going to scroll down. And a P21035, which is again throttle pedal sensor problem. So and it's just the same code repeating. So sorry for my shaky hands. So what we're going to do, we're going to back out of this. We're going to go down. We're going to scroll down one to erase codes. And we're going to hit OK. Sure you want to erase? Yes. So now we're going to turn the key off. We're going to disconnect... Our, our scan tool and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to try and start it and we're going to keep we're going to watch our RPMs seems like it's pretty good our, our lights are off and so that's a good thing uh, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to close the hood and we're going to go for a little ride Okay, I'm back. So this is going to be a little hard hauling to carry. Yes, I do have a tire pressure thing, which is going to get taken care of when it goes for tires. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to just drive here a little bit. We're going to keep an eye on things. We're just going to see how... So far, that RPM sounds pretty good. I think maybe this is a good thing. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to drive. Keep an eye on the RPMs. And for some reason, our wrench light came on. So maybe this didn't cure the problem. Uh, maybe I need to clear the code. It might clear itself because it does not seem like it's sputtering anymore. Um, so it does seem like it's better. And there are some cases where it'll come back, but it has to clear out. So I'm going to go down here a little ways. And the wrench might even be because of the tire sensor issue. So it seems like the throttle is pretty good here. It was bucking and carrying on before, and that has gone away. But I'm not sure with the wrench why it didn't go away. So I'm going to go ahead here, and I'm going to turn around. But yeah, that wrench is definitely on. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to pull in the driveway. I'm going to hook up the scan tool and see what possibly is going on. All right, guys. So I plugged in my scan tool. And it is coming up. It actually, I'm trying to go back here. Um, now it won't say it, of course. Um... It was only for a little bit. Um, I'm going to press that. It's bringing up that there's zero. It brought up. And of course, it's not going to do it that I have the camera on. But what it said was I plugged in the OBD and it, it did its thing where it loads. And it said zero codes found. So... I'm wondering if that wrench is because of the TPMS sensor being bad on the left front of the car. And now I'm going to get done when I have new tires put on the vehicle. Um, so I'm going to see what happens um, when we take it for, when we take it in, if it goes away. Um, I'm going to just see here and see now it's gone. So, so I think what it was, something had to read or something misread or something just had to catch up. Maybe like a rubber band or something kind of deal till 
the information catches up to what the actual real time is going on. So anyway, um, that's it for now. Um, that's how to replace a throttle body. Um, what I recommend is if you have P2135 is generic code. It's good. It's, it's, it's relevant for all car makers. Um, but look it up anyway for your own. Uh, P2135, P0122. Those are the two sensors involved. The one I showed you that was down by the throttle pedal. <sighs> Lots of times it's the one on the engine. Now, you, they say the first thing you do is check your wiring. Check your pigtails, your wiring, your obvious stuff. Like if it's a bare wire, if it's a loose wire, if it's a crack connector, any kind of corrosion. Address that first. Also, clean the throttle body first you might be able to, that might be enough to correct the problem. In this particular case, we had, we did all that. The code came back. So it's recommended if the code came back, the next step would be to replace the, um, the throttle body, which is the P0122 code, which kind of led me in that direction. Um, so the P2135 only tells you that there's something wrong with that circuit. The P0122 says that's it's your throttle body um, in this particular application. So anyway, hopefully this helps to decipher if you have those codes on your vehicle. Um, check them out. Uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend if you're going to get a throttle body, get a brand new one. It's electronic thing. It's a wear thing with the butterflies. I highly recommend getting a brand new one. I was going to be cheap. I was going to buy a used one on eBay. And right at the last minute, I was like, nope. And I bought a brand new one. I spent the extra money. I put a brand new one on here. Uh, it's just peace of mind knowing that's a new sensor and all that is a new throttle body, which means new bushings, new shafts, new butterfly in there. So that way everything's fresh and tight and new. So that way that code doesn't come back, okay? Get, just do yourself a favor, spell extra, extra money, and get a new one. Anyway, that's it for now. Uh, like and subscribe, leave a comment. I hope this helps if you're having this particular code in your vehicle. So anyway, till uh, next time, take care of each other. Watch out for each other. See you next time right here in Big E's. Bye for now.